Well, here we are, and we got a cracking spot all to ourselves. I haven't been down this way for a couple of years and I can't tell you exactly where this way is because I'll probably get shot by a local. Um, but we're several hours down south of, of, uh, of Perth, Western Australia, and I've been dotting in and out of every single campsite I could find with river access along this long stretch of river that snakes through the southwest. And I reckon I drove in and out of about 20 different sites and every single one was occupied. This is the first one I come across in probably two to three hours of ducking in and out of full drive tracks down to these sites to find this one. And this one is awesome. Um, it's a good stretch river there as well. And I've already seen a big marin uh, in the water down there when I was throwing an eddy in, so that's pretty promising. I was starting to get a little bit concerned actually, because uh, it's 50 bucks to get your marin license in WA, and you've only got a really short window. It's about four weeks. And it's taken me a couple of hours to find a site. Today's the first day that the marin season has opened and I thought I probably wasn't going to find a spot. This was one of the last spots I was going to check before I probably gave up and, and head back to um, the camp for the night, which is on mum and dad's property in the southwest, probably an, oh, half an hour, an hour or so from here. Anyway, regardless, I found a spot, but it was seriously scratchy getting into it uh, and some pretty hectic, uh, tight, full drive tracks as well. I didn't film too much coming in because I was a little bit stressed about not finding a spot but I will film some stuff on the way out of here uh, once we've hopefully got a couple of marin. So in WA we're allowed six nets per mariner. And uh, all I'm gonna do, I've taken the floats off them. These are my crab nets, so they had floats on them. I've taken those off because I'm not gonna need them. You're only allowed to throw them and retrieve them from the bank. You're not allowed to do it from boats. So I've got some stocking that I've pinched from Tiff. And I'm just going to fill it with some chook pellets. I actually raided Dad's um, chicken coop this morning to pinch some of his chook pellets. So hopefully I can repay the favour of the Savo when we get back with a few marin. Tie that off, zip tie it in the middle, and then we will trek down to the bank and throw these things in. I'll show you this spot, it's beautiful. Just spotted a, uh, a vine over here that I recognise. Let me show you this passion fruit vine, and there's fruit dripping all over it. Obviously, someone's been eating passion fruit here at camp and been spitting their pips out. Pretty cool. Not quite ripe yet, though. Gotcha. 
Oh, oh he's undersized, he just jumped out. Bugger. Oh yeah. Yes. Well, I think I just dropped one undersized one, but I've just managed to pull up successfully one size one. I'll keep him for now. If we get some bigger ones, I'll throw him back, but that's a promising start. I'm stoked with that. We're eating Marin. He's definitely sized, so we're keeping him. And uh, I'll have to throw that other one back. So, he's definitely sized, so we're keeping him. That's two on the board now, that's a feed. Anything else is a bonus. I end up with four keepers. So no monsters amongst a lot, um, but two pretty good sized ones and, and two that were just oversized. So, really happy with that. Anywho, uh, one of these I still need to get on ice. So, let's get that done. And um, we'll take him home with us and cook him up. Oh. I'll show you some of this full drive track on the way out. Um, not the gnarliest track that I had to do today to get in here, um, but uh, still pretty cool. Back at mum and dad's property, but I've got to be pretty quiet because Brody's sleeping in the van. Do you want to be too quiet? Yeah, I reckon? No, you want to hold that for me? So you've never seen one, Chloe? And have you never eaten one too? No, never. Really? No. I don't think so. Wow. You've never caught any for me. Um, no, I haven't been marrying for years. It's harder than I remember. <laughs> that took ages. So they've all been, they go to sleep in the fridge, Chloe. Uh, it just puts them to sleep. See? <laughs> Look cool? <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> Look cool? Do you want to touch one? They're, they're dead. Yeah, so um, two of them are a good size, and these two are pretty close to. That's pretty much minimum size, babe. God, they're hideous, aren't they? Yeah. They're so ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So ugly. Anyway, Dad's actually cooking like a Massaman uh, lamb curry, which would be delicious because he's a really good cook. But um, I'm going to do these for a bit of an entree. There's one each for me, Tiff, Mum, and Dad. You won't, will you try one? You can try some of mine. She won't try it. No. So I'm going to barbecue these. So they're asleep now, so I can um, cut them in half, and clean them out, and um, smother them in some butter, and garlic, and get them on the barbecue. But then you, but then you make cheeses. That'll no, be alright. Wait, is that your table? This is my table here. That's cool that you have a table. Yeah, it's handy, isn't it? It's it's on the right. Yeah, might as well. 
And the lights that are. Mm -hmm. Those are lots of things in this car. Mm -hmm. God, they're hideous, aren't they? Even yeah. this. Those are actually wind. disgusting. Yeah. So how did they get dead? Uh, in the fridge. Why do you eat like those? Tasty. Daddy reckons they're tasty. Mummy's never tried one. Even me. I want to try one for the first time with mummy. I reckon you should. Clean I don't out. like seeds. Very stuff. similar to crayfish, really, eh? Yeah. Alright, anyway. Do you reckon it tastes similar to crayfish? Heaps better. Do better? You, yeah, haven't you noticed how crayfish like stink? And these don't smell? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but it's been a long time since I've had one. Better than crab? Uh, I really like crab. We'll mm. see. We had crabs a couple of days ago. We had crayfish last night. Yeah. And we had crabs a couple of days ago. I've Since the new year, we've actually been catching some stuff, mm. <laughs> which is so weird. Mm. Right, anyway, you can sw you can switch that off now because it's rest and repeat. That looks enough, right? Yeah, it's enough, right, Mark? I'll just... Oh, no, you're good. Everything else. Yeah. That um, barbecue is cranking. Yeah. That might be a bit too hot. Um, yeah, so um, mum just minced some garlic for me and mixed it with some melted butter and I've just basted them all in it. So they're gonna go face down for a couple of minutes just to get some color on them. This is a bit hot. Oh, you just burnt the lamp show. No, I don't think so. Do I? Oh, I might have done. Just spin it around. Uh, yeah, so probably just five minutes or so on that side, and then I'll flip them over, I'll rebase them with more garlic and butter, and then I'll show you what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, Dad's, Dad's helped me with presentation. He's just tried to get something out of the fridge, and he's dropped the whole Weber, so they've ended up all over the floor and everything. I'm not quite sure if they're cooked. They look like they're cooked. We'll give them a go. It's like... It's shadows out here. Yeah. I'll bring it inside. It's like the 10 second rule with the 10 minute rule. Well, I'm not bothered. No. There's a bit of a... Right. I think they look like they're cooked up. Right on. You trying one? It's my first time. Which one do I? What do you want? So it's good that you had crayfish last night. Tastes like garlic and butter. <laughs> Tastes like crayfish. Really? Yep. Tastes the same as crow? Yep. Mm. I reckon. Okay. If anything, maybe the meat's a little bit like less flavorful. Yeah. It's good. Yeah? Cool. Anyway, I'll wrap this up here. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.